let's assume that you're creating a lorem ipsum generator, which is Latin text. It's typically used in a lot of uh, copywriting when you're not sure what you want to write and you're designing some text. And when you're doing this, here's, for example, the code. We have a bunch of Latin words here and we want to randomly get a bunch of words. And we have a, a function here that basically says lorem ipsum it takes in the number of times we want, a number of basically words or loops we want to do. And then basically does a repeat. And what happens is we will do something a number of times. So if it's five times, it'll repeat this five times, giving us the index of each time. And then what we do is we look at the list of Latin words, get a random word, and then we send that back to whatever the block is here. In that case, it's going to be the this caller here, and you're going to get back the index. So basically the current iteration. So if it's the first one, it'd be number one. If it's the fifth iteration, it'd be five. And then whatever the random word is. And at that point, you can do whatever you want to do with this random words from this lorem ipsum text. So let's say you do that and you run this now, and then you have you have this text here. And of course, this is going to change each time because everything is kind of random. Now, notice one thing here is that we're not really using this index parameter. And so we do need the word parameter. Um, so what we can actually do in this case uh, is a couple of things to clean this up. First of all, due to type inference in Kotlin, we can get rid of the types. So already Kotlin's going to know. Sounds good. We already know that the first type here is going to be an integer because that's declared right here. And the second type is going to be a string because that's declared there. So we don't need you to define the types for us. We can do that for us. Next, by default, there is a kind of a standard that when a parameter is not used, but we do need to declare it here for the purposes of the compiler, you can use a underscore. And that basically tells Kotlin, hey, we know that there's a variable here, but just go ahead and ignore that. And so if we run this again, we can execute it and that would work just fine. Now, another interesting thing is if for some reason we didn't want to do anything with it here, say we didn't want to use word either. Now we also get this here. We can rename both of these to underscore and that's kind of the default mechanism and the default nomenclature for variables you know, inside of a Lambda expression that are not used. So basically this means unused. So anytime you see an underscore inside of a Lambda expression that you're using or in code somewhere, it means whatever this variable is, it's not being used. So therefore it's been turned into an underscore.